Hey guys, it's me, Seren, back with another video. Today is our 26th hidden figure, Miss Major Griffin Gracie, who is a transgender activist against police brutality and advocate for trans women, especially black trans women that are incarcerated. Griffin Gracie was born in the South Side of Chicago on October 25th, 1940. She participated in drag balls during her youth and described her experience in Chicago in a 1998 interview. The drag balls were phenomenal. It was like going to the Oscar show today. Everybody dressed up. Guys in tuxedos, queens in gowns that you would not believe. I mean, things they would have been working on all year. And the straight people would come and watch. They were different than the ones who come today. They just appreciated what was going on. Griffin Gracie came out as a transgender woman as a teenager in the late 1950s. After having been kicked out of two colleges for the outward expression of her identity, she moved from Chicago to New York City, becoming a regular at the famous LGBT Stonewall Inn Bar in Greenwich Village. She recounted, We could go to Stonewall and everything would be fine. We didn't have to explain ourselves. On June 28, 1969, Griffin Gacy was in the Stonewall Inn when the bar was raided by police, leading to the Stonewall Riots, which are considered the birthplace of the modern LGBT movement. Griffin Gracie was a leader in the riots, along with her friends Marsha P. Johnson, Sylvia Rivera, and Stormy Delavier, but was knocked out by a police officer and taken into custody. She reported that a corrections officer broke her jaw while she was in prison. And I've also done hidden figures on Marsha P. Johnson and Stormy Delavier as well, if you guys want to check those out. Griffin Gracie took note of the prison conditions, such as beatings and strip searches, particularly for Black incarcerated trans youth. While in prison at Clinton Correctional Facility in upstate New York, she met Frank Smith, who had led prison riots at Attica. Smith became a mentor to Griffin Gracie, encouraging her to fight back against police brutality in the prison state and to educate herself about Black history to address the root causes of racism, inequality, and oppression. After being released, she moved to San Diego in 1978 and began organizing anti-prison community efforts and grassroots movements to address community issues before police become involved. She initially started with work at a local food bank and later provided direct services for trans women who were incarcerated, suffering from addiction or homeless. Griffin Gracie then moved to the San Francisco Bay Area in the mid-1990s, where she served on multiple HIV AIDS organizations, including in the Tenderloin AIDS Research Center. In 2005, she began working at the Transgender Gender Variant Intersex Justice Project, or the TGIJP, shortly after it was founded. She served as the executive director of the project, leading direct service efforts and personalized care to incarcerated Black trans women, including writing letters, meeting with prisoners, helping newly released individuals enroll in college and rehabilitation programs, and finding jobs. After retiring from the organization in 2015, she founded the Griffin Gracie Historical Retreat and Educational Center, known as the House of Gigi, as a safe haven and retreat house for the Black transgender community in Little Rock, Arkansas. A documentary on her life titled Major was released in 2015 and portrays Griffin Gra Gracie, excuse me, Griffin Gracie's role as an activist and mentor in the transgender community since the 1960s. In 2018, she was honored with the Susan Hyde Award for longevity in the movement. In 2021, she served as executive producer of the documentary series, Trans in Trumpland. Miss Major Griffin Gracie is 82 years old and living and working in Little Rock, Arkansas. And I have a quote uh, where from an interview that she gave to um, Them Us magazine, I will have links to this interview in the description box. And she was asked the question, after all is said and done, what do you want your legacy to be? I would want my legacy to be, if it ain't right, fucking fix it, whatever it takes. I'd want to be remembered for trying to do the right thing and care for all people. We're all part of one another. I would want people to understand who we are as human beings. I want us to look at the similarities more than the differences. And that is Miss Major Griffin Gracie, a hidden figure. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. There will be tons of links and information in the description box. Food for thought as always. See you guys tomorrow with our next hidden figure. We're in our last home stretch of hidden figures. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.